Hello, so today what I'm going to be doing is playing with the new Buxom eyeshadows. Um, and Well, I only got one because I don't usually like cream shadows. This is St. Bernard and the one that I'm going to be using. Um, it's a really beautiful color. Uh, I really like these. I don't usually love cream shadows. I have a few, but I don't find that I use them very much. Um, but these are great. These are not greasy or heavy or anything like that. Um, they're easy to blend. Uh, they stay, you know, put, which is, they're called stay there, so I guess they should. Um, but anyway, so I thought I'd just do a look using, using this shadow. Um, the Buxom shadows do have a special brush made for them, um, but I didn't get it because, again, I wasn't sure how much I'd like them. Um, so I just used a really <laughs> cheap e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Uh, it's just the plain eyeshadow brush. And I've actually used it uh, this little twice. And you can see it's just, it doesn't look like there's, I just washed it out with like soap and um, it dries and it's exactly back to normal. So what's really good about these, they won't gunk up your brushes, which is something I always worry about with cream shadows. I've also tried it with a paint brush, which is just a synthetic brush. It's very similar to the bristles on my normal foiling brush and those dried and I washed and dried it and it's perfectly back to normal. So that's always really important to me with cream shadows. I have some cream shadows that just like ruin my brushes. So anyway, these don't do that and uh, they're great. So I'm going to just start with this one. Okay, so I'm going to start with the St. Bernard and I'm just going to, you know, dab my brush in it like that. Um, you can see you get a pretty good coating on the on the brush and you don't need tons so you can just start there and kind of just if you want more intense color you're going to need to like dab it on um, and if you want a sheer wash of color what's good about using the natural hair brush like this is you can really blend it out pretty easily I think here so So yeah, these could go from really intense, and I think I might, if I don't use up all the time on the video, um, post pictures of the other look that I did with this. If not, you can check it out on my blog. I put it on the blog. Um, that's a, gonna be a much more kind of bold, uh, heavy, not blended out kind of look. So, um, and you can just sort of, you know, treat it almost like you would just a, a regular bare essential shadow it's pretty easy to blend so you can go in circles or if you go if you just make upward motions you can do that try to shape it out kind of do the windshield wiper moving movement um, and you can see on this side I just it's more intense over here and then it's very sheer right there so even with some of these bolder colors, you know, you can get kind of a sheer wash if you want. They, this does kind of set up quickly, but it's not so fast that, you know, you can't wipe it off or uh, get rid of most of it. So just a light wash. I think the pug, I think I want to get that one. It's kind of a pewter color and it'd be great for a smoky eye. I think these are really easy to use too, especially as far as, uh, you know, kind of cream shadows go. And this isn't really a cream, it's more like, I don't know, it's got a spongy texture. Um, okay. I think that's about right. All right, okay, I'm just gonna take a little seashell um, and put it on the inner corner, kind of blending it into the St. Bernard. And seashell is one of those kind of like iridescent colors. So it looks really nice over the St. Bernard. I think it adds some dimension. It's 
really pretty. Okay. If you don't have seashell, you could use um, Sundress or Ice Queen or any of those kinds of shadows. Also, like Limelight, which is one of the newer colors that came out in the Bold collection would be good. Um, so, you know, feel free to play around with that. Um, I'm going to put some TLC uh, just in the outer corner to kind of darken things a little bit. Uh, kind of the outer quarter and just just into the crease so you have a little contrast between the St. Bernard and the TLC and it just darkens it I think it makes it a look a little nicer If you wanted to tone it down even more, you could, you know, use something a little more neutral, maybe a pink on the inside, um, and then a darker color on the outside. I sort of was testing things on my hand, and I used Dakota and Sterling, Sterling Silver, and those looked pretty good. Um, so you could do like a more smoky look with some darker silvers and grays and stuff. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a little on the bottom as well. Okay, so now I'm going to use some Buxom Lash Liner in black. I don't know what it's really called. Uh, Litherite. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I just want to do a thin line of this. You could use French Navy, Sailor, Marina. Uh, any kind of like navy blue. Or Midnight Diamond, something black, caviar, uh, Catwoman. Got to be very careful with this. Okay. All right, so there we go. I'll put some pictures. Um, I also used primer and I put Hay Under the Brow as the highlight. You could use Moonstruck or Banana Smoothie or um, Playful. There's a bunch of shadows you could use uh, if you didn't have Hay. Um, and I guess that's about it. Uh, I really do like those Buxom shadows. I think I might actually get some more, um, which is saying a lot, I guess. All right, I'll leave some time for pictures. Thanks for watching. Also, if you have questions, you can ask them here on YouTube or go to my blog and ask them there. Um, I'm sure there's lots of stuff I've forgotten. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.